Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, look where I am. I am at Richie Brothers auction site again. Well, let's see what kind of trouble I can get into now. That's a nice calf shed. Well, actually that's a big shed. Could be used for many things. Keep an eye on that guy. I was just looking at some LED lights over there. We've got some uh, heaters, which actually I wouldn't mind to have one of those. But I don't want one of those ones. A little bit smaller. This is all the timed auction stuff. So you just, pretty much everybody bids online on these ones. And then when the time runs out, you get what you get. Ooh, pressure washers. There's a lot more farm stuff at this sale. A lot of construction stuff. Oh, look at that tree planter. I don't think my bobcat would handle that one. That's a huge one. You could plant 30 foot trees with that one. Nice shiny new pressure washers. So, I think these are pretty cool. I could make these myself though. Check out this tree pan. Well, that's a tree planter. That's gonna go on a that's gonna go on a loader, on a heavy wheel loader, or a tractor with one huge front end loader on it, big front wheel assist tractor. But I already got my toy, so I don't have to look at this one. That's gonna cost probably around 25 grand. I I would just, I would bet. So uh, I've got some skid steer attachments. The only thing I'd probably like now is one of these. Wouldn't mind to have one of these now. got brushes brush cutters I wouldn't mind a brush cutter too got some big log loaders over there yeah that's a pretty big brush cutter though maybe a pretty big skid steer to run one of these probably bigger than mine a little bit more I don't think mine has the flow to run one of these but this would work at my place. Hey, there's another Limar tree planter. Why didn't I just buy this one? Who would have who would have knew? This is actually one that's a little bit bigger than mine. I have to see what this one goes for. Yeah, too bad I didn't know about this one sooner. Oh well, that's how it is. Well, here we have a Case International WD-1204. And it has, looks to be about a 30 foot draper header on it. Maybe 25. Actually, it kind of does look like a 25. It's got the Trimble auto steer in it. The steering wheel motor in it. Must be a pretty nice washer. Now, if this could run a disc header, this would be pretty good. As long as it uh, doesn't share too much of its uh, New Holland brother characteristics. Uh, anyway, what else we got here? We have a Borgo air seeder. That looks to be about 60, 70 feet. Uh, I'd say about 70 for sure. Pretty big card on it. Big honking cart too. You need 300 horsepower just to pull this cart full. My cart probably is like up to there. That's like four of my carts. My John Deere air carts on there. Yeah, that's an 80 footer. Pull drill. Flex 
Maxi Coil tank on a Morris pool drill. Some coil packers. New Holland air cart, which is really a flexi coil because New Holland and Case bought a whole flexi coil. And a John Deere 1910, which is I'm more familiar with. First, nice fertilizer spreader. I like the roll tarp on it. Yeah, pretty nice. Actually, I think ours is a Wilmar. I can't remember now. Nice little Farm King semi high clearance sprayer. Oh, we got some heavy harrows here. I wouldn't mind a set of these. Fifty feet would do me good. Got some Dagelman ones over there. They look like fifty footers. And we got some hay rakes here. Massey Ferguson. That's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wheel. Uh, 16 wheel rake. It's got the uh, walking beam, which is good. A little bit too big. We could use a 12 wheel rake. But hey, what's a couple extra wheels? It's not like it's going to pull any harder. What else we got here? We have some New Holland BR 7090s. Case. And a Massey. Nothing here that I'm looking for. I want a, a John Deere 568 or a 569. Only those two numbers. That's the only baler that I'll be looking at in the future. Rotary, hair, uh, rotary rake. That's actually a pretty heavy duty one. John Deere. I've never seen that model before. Hmm. Nice fifth wheel. Should check this one out. And it's locked. It'll be open sale day though. But I can check this one out online. Can't see nothing. Well, that's it's too bad because I won't be here sale day. Or well, maybe I will, who knows? I came here actually, I picked up my uh, uh, culvert pipes and my new Bobcat tires that I bought in the last sale. And we have a pretty heavy disc right here. Looks to be a Wishek. I think it's a Wishek, yeah. That's way too heavy for me. It's not too heavy for me, it's just too big for me to pull. I could pull a 14 footer that big with the Stagger. Old case disc. There we go. Farm King. That's my size. Offset. That would work good for me. Oh man, look at those discs. Barely any war on them. Where? Not war, wear. Yeah, there's not much shakers on that thing. This one needs a little work. Must have hit a big stump or something. Somebody uh, using it where it shouldn't have been used, probably. Oh, look at these cute little cabins. High bottom plow. I have a seven bottom. Don't really need any plows. Like this one. I don't think these ones are locked. Oh, I see. As you can see, it's pretty warm here today, and it's gonna be warm on the weekend. Holy smokes! Granite countertops.
And I should have this for uh, taking grain samples, moisture samples. Put it right beside the bins. Pretty cool. Yeah. A little loft up there. I could sit here, watch the grain trucks come by to unload. I have, a, have my TV right there so I can watch the playoffs. Of course, I won't be, won't be watching the Oilers, but anyway, I'm going with the Jets. Winnipeg Jets. What else we got out here? I like these sheds too. Oh, that's how you pick up a side by side. Oh, look at that. I can stick my head inside this auger. That's going to be a 16. A 16 inch. It's a farm thing. That's got to be a 16. I'm going to build one of these sheds one of these times here. Put my firewood in them. Yeah, that's a 16 by 100. I think I could uh, unload one of our small trucks. And I don't think it'll have enough grain to make it to the end. Probably just fill the tube. <laughs> yeah, that's a heavy, heavy, heavy frame. I think my little 770 could run it though. Should be able to run it. That's a little sarcasm there. And this one's similar to one I bought. My 770 runs that one, no problem. Mine's in better shape than this one though. That's a nice unloading auger. We have uh, I found two S250s here. The only thing I don't really like about this one, it's a rental. But it seems to, seems to be in better shape than this one. But uh, I think I missed out on a pretty good deal on the other on the other ones. But if these go low enough, you never know. Uh, they got around 5,000 hours on them. How much for skids are here? You got another case. Huh, yeah, we'll have to see. Well, what have we got here? We've got some 760 Lexans. Nice combines. I bet these are locked too, but I'm just gonna try. I've only got like 15 minutes to get out of here and they're closing the yard. Wish I was here earlier. Oh no, it's open. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, just a little bit bigger than my new Holland. Yep. Yeah. Look at the even give you a receipt. 580 bushels on this field, and then you just tear it off. Take it to the elevator. Proof of purchase. Can't see inside the hopper. I think the back wheel is just as big as our front wheels on our TRs and uh, John Deere. Yep. I don't think this thing has many hours on it. What is that, a D11? D10? Uh, as you can see, it's melting pretty good. D9L, oh, that looks bigger. Doing some work on it. Look at that little cute 966. We used to have a 1086. That was a pretty good tractor. And a little 2090. Doesn't look like it's in too bad of shape. 
scent. These are pretty popular in the feedlots down south, southern Alberta. Quad tracks for all my John Deere fans. 89.70. That's well, not a bad looking tractor. How many horsepower? 400 horse. There you go. Cheap horsepower. 40,000, I'll say. And what we got over here? This is a nice loader tractor. What tractor is this? Oh, 6150R. We're hearing about the 6 Series and how they're not that great. I like the sunroof. Somebody left the door open on the Puma. The Puma model on the cases are supposed to be better than the earlier cases. Not as nice inside as the John Deere though. Well, this thing looks like it has a little more hours though. Yeah, that's a nice loader tractor. Both of these are nice. John Deere is nicer though. This thing seems to be used a little more. Maxim 140. Now, Maxim. Is this one of the new Maximum? Maxums? But they're supposed to be not bad. They're not a new Holland. Painted red. Yeah, this one's definitely a lot newer. I'm gonna have to do some research on this. This, this little guy here. Doesn't look to be that big. 140 horse. At least it's got the heavier rims and axles on it. Doesn't look that. It doesn't look as heavy there, but and what do we have here? 6125 R. That one looks that one looks nice inside too. 6715. I've never heard of a 6715. This one's obviously a little older. Not bad though. Kind of, so this is what I bought at the last sale that I just came to pick up. My four bobcat tires, complete with rims for a thousand bucks. Not too bad. I, I don't, I don't think that's not too bad. Uh, I also bought some culvert pipes. So, well, I'm home now. Uh, I totally ran out of camera. Capacity, space, whatever. So, which uh, kept shutting off on me because I was running out of room. So, anyway, the, the pipes I bought, uh, we need a couple of those to make some approaches. And like I said, the Bobcat tires we got, and I thought I got a pretty good price for them. They're like 350 bucks new without a rim, so it's not bad. And uh, my skid steer needs uh, some new tires because they're pretty uh, pretty old and worn. But uh, yeah, anyway, that'll, that's pretty much the sale that's coming up uh, day after tomorrow. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to it or not. Uh, I might just watch it online. Uh, anyhow, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching.